What's going on, Jerome? So last summer, uh, the the football world was stunned when Netflix dropped a, a documentary, uh, docu series from Omaha Omaha Productions uh, called Quarterback, and of course it was Kurt Cousins and Mahomes and also uh, Mariota for, for whatever reason. <laughs> Uh, but it was an instant hit. Uh, it, it was a great behind the scenes look. Uh, it was unvarnished. It was it, it was really cool to see behind the scenes. And of course, we got to see Kurt's vinegar strokes. Good deal. But uh, it, reportedly, without the season, there there was a there, there was a lack of quarterbacks who wanted to run it back for a season two. It's basically just like, hey, Jalen Hurts and no one else wanted to do it. Uh, but now uh, Netflix announced that they are going to be doing uh, a, a second series called Receiver, featuring Devonta Adams, Justin Jefferson. George Kittle, Debo Samuel, and Amon or St. Brown. Now, I, I have a couple issues w- with the list. First off, how come the San Francisco 49ers get two? Also, George Kittle is not a receiver. He's a tight end. Also, he he's not even much of a receiving tight end. He gets like three targets a game because Brock Purdy uh, still sees Iowa State versus Iowa as like the Bloods and the Crips. People don't know that. Anyways, uh, but the, I mean, the rest are, are kind of interesting. Devonta Adams can talk about, hey, uh, I, I played with Jimmy Garoppolo, and uh, it basically ended my career. <laughs> uh, Amonra St. Brown, Amonra Sun God, he, I, I think he's one of the most underrated receivers in the game. Like any time, it could be third and two hundred and seventy six, and Amonra will, will somehow get get a catch for two hundred and seventy seven yards. I don't, I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, they talk about Debo for being overrated and hurt all the time. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, and with JJ, JJ needs to be the star of the show. Like. I would say screw everyone else and just give me the JJ Snyder cut. Just give me just give me the last dance equivalent to Justin Jefferson. You know, give me OJ Made in America equivalent to Justin Jefferson. We're going down a, a, a path that I do not want to go down. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, give me a 10 part series on Justin Jefferson. Also, funny thing about Netflix. So, uh, the show House of Cards, uh so the wife and I are actually rewatching it while she's watching it for the first time. I, I used to be, like, so in on that show. Like, I would take Friday off of work, like, when the new seasons would drop. I would get up at 3 a.m. I would binge the entire entire season and then never watch it again. <laughs> uh, that's how I Netflix. Hmm. Uh, but J.J., Interesting season for Justin Jefferson. Uh, of course, he is uh, the wide receiver one. He's a superstar of this league, uh, coming off MVP finalist, Offensive Player of the Year um, uh, award, and uh, he he's the face of the Vikings. He is the face uh, of the league, uh, and also would love to see the dynamic between him and Jordan Addison uh, teaming up to becoming the best wide receiver duo in the National Football League. Uh, plus, there's some adversity. Uh, JJ having his first serious injury of his career uh, because the Vikings had that stupid cheap ass slip turf not that that mm, still frustrating man but uh i mean with jj i mean get the vikings going through the 0 3 1 4 start uh jj tearing up his hamstring and then him uh, i i think that they'll go into depth about him being the great teammate that he is like him traveling with the team him uh being on the sidelines him hyping up his guys like him hyping up kurt cousins Actually, I wonder if they'll get into that that dynamic because you know JJ was a pretty staunch supporter of of uh, Kurt Cousins, uh, and then Kurt just left. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, so you remember during the Falcons game, like Jefferson was hyped up for for uh, Josh Dobbs. Let's go, Josh! Let's go, Josh! It's great to see. And, and then JJ comes back, and then uh, Josh Dobbs immediately puts Justin Jefferson <laughs> in in the Clark Co- County Hospital. So great. Great, great. Also, I'm sure they'll get into you know JJ and, and his contract, the the background on, on that. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's not about the money. The money's going to be there, but uh, I I think it will get into JJ uh, having a a sense of where the Vikings' future is going to go, and it, it's a, it, it'll be an interesting story because it will be a team in flux, you know, with uh, Quasey and Kevin O'Connell all up in there, and basically this is the most transformative offseason in team history, and Justin Jefferson is going to be the centerpiece uh, of the team going forward, so I, I'm really excited, like, I, I could give two poops less about Devontae, oh, well, eh, actually Devontae would be kind of interesting, uh, Monro would be fine. Uh, whatever about Kittle and Debo, sure. But uh, again, just give me this uh, the Snyder cut of uh, Justin Jefferson and screw everyone else. That's it, man. That's it. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Justin Jefferson to star in Netflix's uh, Receiver, which is kind of like quarterback, but it's Receiver.
Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.